Hey guys, this is Matt with BleepinJeep.com. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the stock lines and install Rough Country Extended Front Brake Lines. But this is just a tiny portion of a much longer video on how to install an entire Rough Country Long Arm Lift. If you look down in the description below, you'll find links to all of the lift component how-to videos as well as the full length version. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the Bleepin' Jeep channel right here and also check out Rough Country's YouTube channel at Rough Country TV. So it's time to install some longer brake lines but I wanted to show you guys this first. This is going to be a little modification that I'm going to make. These are the brake lines from Rough Country and as you can see I'm not sure if this is on all Cherokees. This happens to be a 96 and it has this little protrusion right here um, where the brake line attaches. Now I've already done this on the opposite side and you need to cut a little bit off of this brake line before it'll fit. Now you could, this is backwards and upside down by the way, you could install this upright like this, but the problem with that is uh, once you get it bolted down you can't bleed your brakes because you can't get a wrench on here. Now if you installed it this direction it shortens your brake line because then it has to wrap up and around like this which is no good, you might kink your line. So really you want to install it like this so I'm going to take it over to the the bench and just take off a little bit. I probably only need about an eighth inch or, or so, maybe less, just like that. Okay, this is going to be a messy job but the first thing I want to do is reinstall this brake caliper over here. Barely fits. See if I can get it on there. All right, check it out. You probably want to put a rag down below to catch the uh, brake fluid that's going to come out here, and there's going to be a lot. Next thing you want to do is get one of these wrenches. These are special wrenches for lines. Uh, they're actually called line wrenches, so that makes sense. So basically, it's got an open end on one side and it's only got you know five or six sides there and it fits very snug on there you don't want to put a regular wrench on here because if you booger that up you are going to have a bad day now I've already broken this free but it was super rusty and um, you do not want to booger that up like I said even these line wrenches can round it over so what I did uh, I, I bought one of these at Harbor Freight a while back and this thing comes in really handy it's just a little mini torch. So if you haven't learned from my videos by now, heat does wonders uh, for breaking bolts loose. And it's probably not good for your brake fluid, but all that's gonna spill out anyway. So what I did was I heated with the little torch, I heated this bottom part. The part that you heat is gonna expand. So if this part expands, then this part, uh, is, it's like it's getting smaller. So once I heated it up, it broke free very easily. Uh, I could tell that it was going to round over because it's, I don't think it's ever been off. So once I got that broke free we're just going to take this off. Actually before I take that off and start spilling fluid everywhere I'm going to get Torx and take this part off. Alright, now just pull this out of the way for a second and install this new bracket that comes with the lines into the same hole. Okay, now we can take the hard line off and we can put the new line up through this hole. Then you want to bend this into place. Try to get it straight on there so you don't strip it out and start threading it in. There we go. I wouldn't put it all the way on yet because we want to make sure we got the right angle for the for this. What you want to do is make sure that it's wrapped in a way where it's not going to hit your tire and it's not going to hit and rub on anything and put a hole in your line. Okay now we can take off this line on the brake caliper. Make sure you get both of those brass washers off with it. Here comes a bunch of brake fluid. Okay, now 
this is a banjo bolt here and in the kit you're provided with two washers or gaskets and so one goes on the outside then you go through your brake line and then one goes on the other side and then you go back in your caliper where you took it out from. Alright, make sure you tighten it down good and then you can put a wrench up here if you want to and kind of change the angle of this line. What you want to do is pretend like you've got a tire on here and you know your tire moves you know in and out so you want to kind of see where this is going to go I think that'll be just fine where it is but if you need to change it you can if you need to wrap this around and make a curl curly cue you can do that as well so now we're going to take this piece right here it's just a clip and it uh, wedges in between here and holds that line in place. There we go. Now I can tighten that down a little better. There we go. And finally, I'll just tighten this line up here with the line wrench. After you get this done, obviously you're going to need to put more brake fluid in in and bleed your brakes so make sure you don't forget that part um, I've got videos on that so I'm not going to do that here but if you want to find those uh, I might put them in the description or just google it sweet check it out guys there's a lot more work to be done but we're making progress now remember this is just one video of many videos that we did on that entire lift now make sure to subscribe right here to the Bleepin' Jeep channel. Also check out the website, bleepinjeep.com. We've got t-shirts, we've got stickers, we've got this band-aid sticker, we've got all kinds of great how-to videos for you as well, bleepinjeep.com. Also, what I want you to do is go over to Rough Country's YouTube channel at Rough Country TV. Subscribe over there, then let me know in the comments section that you have subscribed. Once you do that, Rough Country is going to give away a free $50 gift certificate, a t-shirt, and some stickers once a week so make sure to subscribe over there to rough country tv leave your comments and questions below i appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you in the next video okay guys i hope you learned something there i want to thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing and supporting the bleep and jeep channel now we've got a few options for you first of all these videos can be costly and take a lot of time to do and if you want to contribute you don't have to but if you'd like to the option for that is right over there also, we'd love for you to check out the t-shirt store. The link for that is right down there. We've got these t-shirts, these t-shirts, this hat, and more at bleepinjeep.com store or that link. Also, we'd love for you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. That option is right below. It's free. You get updates via email every week when we upload a new video. Also, we'd love for you to check out the website, bleepinjeep.com, or click this link right here. We've got all kinds of off-road videos. We've got how-to videos, off-road parks and discount coupon codes and more. So check that out, bleepinjeep.com. All right, guys, thank you very much for subscribing and supporting, and we'll see you in the next video.